Time you go away The other lyric of the song Go on and go ahead Everybody, welcome to Drunk Movie Day. I hope you're all well. We have a great show for you today. Great show, great episode, great web series, who knows? But it's going to be fun. In the climate of the world today, you need a little fun, you need a little booze, you need a little movie, am I right? We're all going to die very, very soon. All right, moving along. I'm very excited today because there is a person coming on that I know. Real, real piece of garbage. Begged me to be on the show. I said no several times. He pleaded with me. Got really, really sad. Finally, I caved in because I'm a really nice guy. So let's bring him out. He is a comedy award winner. He has been featured on TV and movies. And give it up, Chris Wilson. Thank you so much for having me. Sit down. I know. Don't bring it up anymore. Thank you. So thank you. Do you like to drink before and after movies? Depends on the movie. <laughs> a blockbuster film, mm. like a uh, a big, a boisterous one. Not like a. So I can sip really loud and no one. <laughs> can you not? Yeah. Can you not? Can you shut it down? No. Have you ever told anybody to shut up at a movie? No, God, no. I'm too weak. At best, I've done this one like the. Yeah. Can you not? And I, would never, I would never say can you not. Today we're going to the movies. You don't know what movie it is. No. Nope. What movie do you think it's going to be? Okay. Um, it's Flatliners. I, I was just about to say that. You took it from my mouth. Fuck you. Fuck me. It's sitting at 0% <laughs> on tomatoes right now. Hmm. I just couldn't... Can I sit on that side? Because I look better. So yeah, so all I know... Uh, what I know about this movie, it's about a bunch of medical students who start killing themselves and then get brought back to life for the thrill of it. One more for good luck. To Flatliners. What's in yours? Oh, uh, there's a... Drink it. Okay. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Are, you, are these tears of joy? I can't wait for flat, Flatliners. See you guys soon. Thank you so much for having me. Come on! Me, thank you for having me at the show. Let's go! <laughs> thank God. One minute. One minute. Bring me back. Okay. I'll tell you what happened. Here. Flatline you. Ouch. Oh, it doesn't matter. Beep. I should probably just take a look at his dick while he's under. Clear! <laughs> I'm back. I know you didn't look at my penis because I trust you. <laughs> yeah. It's always been about that. Let's never talk about this again. No. Why are my pants undone? It was so stupid. It made no sense. They start... They begin to stop start having their hearts start. And then the rest of them bring them back. When they come back to life, it seems like they're on drugs constantly. Everything is brighter. Everything's more fun. But then they start seeing weird visions. Mm -hmm. That makes them scared. Ghosts. The ghosts, sort of. And then that's the plot. This is what the movie's taught me. You become a genius. You get good at piano. And you'll see ghosts. How long is, how long is, have they been out? He's been out for four minutes. He's probably brain dead by this point. We don't, bring him back. I wear glasses now. So smart. You were so smart. Let's go to a rave. In Ellen Page, she describes the afterlife as, um. A horned up fuck fest. I think those were her words. <laughs> slightly sexual. She went to the afterlife and it yeah. was a bit, but it wasn't. There was nothing sexual about it. There was ghosts there. I don't know why she said it was sexy. Let's break down the characters. You've got Ellen Page. Smart. Driven. Driven. Brash. Wants to shake her life up. 
we we come to find out she, she killed, killed her, her sister, sister in a car accident that saw their truck flip she over a bridge. She was texting and driving. And then couldn't make out the text and then leaned into the text. <laughs> Let's get to the next important guy, which is hot, cool, white man. When we were first Beautiful. introduced to him, how do you know that he's a cool guy? Motorcycle. Yep. And he's talking about hooking up with a babe last night. Yeah, love sex. Because the first 20 minutes, all he talks about is sex. And then she's like, hey, do you want to have sex? And he's like, I love sex. I never thought that you would ask me to have sex, but I'm down to have <sighs> yeah, sex. Yeah, let's do it. Who should we? Who is the third most important character? Diego Luna's. Diego the third Luna. Most important. Oh, he's His also the only one. Is the guy who doesn't die. He's the only guy who doesn't let them kill him. Yeah, he doesn't the, go on. And the rest of the movie is him judging them. Yeah, but he's still like he still partied though. They still show that he can party. A lot of party scenes. One, two, three, four. Every day I'm shuffling. And he also has sex with one of the girls after she's had a near death experience, which seemed kind of. Well, that was a funny it, it scene, It seemed too. like he was taking advantage of her. Because the dialogue was literally kind of like, what's this? So I'll be him. And you you know the you know the line. We've just had sex. So, what do you see in me? What? Like, why do you like me? Oh, you're hot. Oh, you're just kidding, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Anyway, I gotta go. What? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. So every character regrets something they've done. And at first the movie makes it seem like what they've done is accidentally kill somebody. But then mm -hmm. it turns out that most of them just disappointed somebody. And there's a, another one of those moments later on when the, the hot guy, he's, he brings up, I have to tell you something. There's this woman, this server that I met. And then immediately the other woman's like, you killed her. You killed her? It's like, no. No, no. No. Why, why would you immediately- You jumped to that? Why would you think that I killed her? Do you think I'm a murderer? Not enough flatlining. For a movie <laughs> called Flatlining- It only it happens been, like five times. They should have said flatlined. It should have been called flatlined because they flatlined once each. Once each. Flatlined once each should have been the title. It's a bad movie. <sighs> yeah. There was a part- <laughs> <laughs> There was one jump scare where- an elevator opened and then it was closing and then like a cardboard cutout of a person slid Basically, across. Basically, it looked like, yeah, just this still image shoots in and shoots yeah. back. Ah! <laughs> oh, 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 shit. <laughs> in the movie, when you come back from death, you act like you are an MDMA. And you're a genius. And, very and you're a genius. Stuff. So you're a smart MDMA user. Yeah. So in the context of the movie, only two people are an MDMA. And they have a giant apartment party, but all of them are going crazy. Oh. They have a flower, like a like a cooking flower fight. They knock down the wall of Ellen Page's apartment. They just tear down a tear wall. Tear down a wall. From what are the other three people cheering about? Maybe they just didn't want to seem like stick in the muds. Like, I'm having like, so much fun. Oh, you guys. Yeah. Yeah, you guys are cool. You, you didn't fly on yet, did you? Crazy. Why do they have hammers? They're on the same wavelength. Yeah. Every character in this movie is so rich. Is so rich. And they all live in giant apartments or houses. Or our With favorite reveal <laughs> is that Jockey McHandsome, who rides a motorcycle, oh. lives on a boat. And it's never brought up in the movie. No, it's brought up in the movie way too late. No, nobody talks about right. it. Right. If you're going to have a character that lives on a boat. A boat! You have to, that's establishing shot of that character. He gets up, out of bed, crawls out of the boat, um, and, and that's how you, uh, houseboat. I love the, oh, it's not a houseboat, it's a sail, like a giant right, sailboat. Right, it's not a houseboat, it's a sail. How many people do you know that live on a houseboat? And nobody says, oh, by the way, you live on a fucking boat. You have to open with that info. 
Also, why does he live on a boat? The only part it plays is that he gets to wear these sexy little nautical sweaters throughout I mean, the whole thing. He could have worn I thought they other, were sexy. He could have worn them either, otherwise. No. I have nautical sweaters that I can wear. You're not allowed to, though. Because you don't live on a boat. Let's talk about the best part of the movie. None of it. Keeper Sutherland. Oh, yeah, he's in it. Oh my god. He's really in it. He is in it. He probably shot for a day or two, which is my favorite thing in these. He type was of on set for one day. Yeah, must have Max. been. Max. I love it so much. He has a cane mm -hmm. that has no play in the movie. Every once in a while it just cuts to him. Yelling at everybody, it has you no- You gotta be better at medicine yeah. stuff. He's just a mean doctor. <sighs> Slab. Get better at medicine. Thanks for my paycheck. I was in the last movie. Away, baby, rain or shine. All the time. We got each other. Sharing the laughter and love. Oh. No, no, don't! Not a good film. <laughs> if you want to write a screenplay and you want to have your character appear very smart, there is no way to do it other than have them do a Rubik's Cube really quick. Ugh. Just like... Done. That now I know that that character is a genius. Now I know that they're very very smart. Look at that white, blue. Yeah. Red. Wow. Green. Oh, let's uh let's act out um what do the I mean? the first scene. She's just brought the sex dude down. The guy who loves having sex. <laughs> loves having sex, and he's a bitch. He's there oh, to have fuck. sex. It's actually she wants him. To kill her. Yeah. And bring her back to life. Hey. <laughs> here for sex. Can't yeah. wait to have sex. Great. Come on in and come next to this place. I'm going to take my shirt off and you're going to kill me. What? What? I'm going to kill you? Yeah. Hook me up and then kill me and then bring me back to life. Okay. I mean, I guess okay. I guess. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what? What? No, what? You're really Why am I doing idea. this? No, no. Oh, Why dead. am I doing this? What's going on? Oh shit! She's dead! This is fucked up! How did I- She's dead! Who killed her? Me? Oh no! We have to bring her back to life. Oh, that was fucked! Oh, what? That was fucked up! Do you want to die now? Give me a turn! Okay. Out of 10 Ellen Page checking out in the middle of a movie, what do you give this movie? <laughs> I wish I had checked out in the middle of the movie, but I watched it all. Are you mad that you didn't get the part of the tall, hot boy? It's because of my audition, I auditioned with this side of my face. Oh, boy. Rather than this one. Oh, also I'm bad at acting. Can I have another beer? You spilt the whole thing. We have to shut the system down.